We've been shopping again, folks. We've got five pork steaks. We're going to cook them with five different flavourings. Because yes. they can be a bit bland on their own, Sharon. Yes. Let's get going. Right, this is something which we paid £4.25 for. And uh, we've got five basic pork steaks there. Where do we get these from? Tesco's, Tesco's right? yeah. And uh, they are a bit bland on their own. So we tend to jazz them up a little bit. We're not going to marinate them. We're just going to use some coatings on them, which you can put on as you're cooking. So let's show you what we're going to put on these ones to jazz these up a bit. Here are the ingredients to our flavoured pork steaks. Five pork steaks, some Chinese salt and pepper seasoning, some Chuckles barbecue sauce, some double cream, some finely chopped mushrooms, two cloves of garlic finely chopped, some cherry tomatoes, a mozzarella cheese ball. Right, so these are them folks. We've got five of them in here. £4.25 in Tesco's at the time of us filming this. And they're nice size, they're a good size share, aren't they? Yeah. It's and nice because it's five for families of five. Families of five, yeah. Well, I would normally have two though, wouldn't I? Well, yeah. So there we go. Now, they can be a bit plain on their own. They can be a little bit dry, can't they? Yeah. So we're going to put them in the uh, air fryer. We're going to get them going. Now, normally you can marinate these if you've got the time, but if you haven't, it doesn't really matter because we're going to be adding some flavours to these and some we're going to be adding a bit later on. So first of all, we're going to get the old Chinese style salt and pepper seasoning out. Is it a rub? You could rub it. Yeah, rub it, season. I'll put it on my ribs, anything, chicken, yeah. very nice seasoning. But in this situation, we're going to be using it on this pork. So all you have to do is rub it in or literally, just literally sprinkle it over and Sharon can massage it in while we're doing that. So we'll do it on both sides because we want to get a lovely flavour mm. running all the way through. So whack it over, baby. There we go. And I can smell the aromatics coming off of this straight away. Make sure you get it on the fat, folks, because the fat is a lovely flavour. Some people cut it off, and it's that that gives it this lovely bit of moisture. So don't cut your fat off. Cook it with the fat. But if you don't eat fat, then you can take the fat off afterwards. Right, so that's one done. It's that simple. Right, so that's that one done. The rest of them, we can start cooking straight away, baby, can't we? Yep. Right, so let's get our drawer out. And we're going to be putting all these in at the same time. So wait that one in the corner, shall we? Let's get that going. And we're going to also lay these other ones in as well, folks. So we're going to try and do these all together, if we can get them all in, maybe and maybe not. The only one that we've flavoured so far is going to be that one there. So that's virtually all in. They will shrink up, yeah. yeah so so they will shrink up. There we go. So let's get them in cooking, first of all. Right, so let's turn it on. And we're going to use the chicken setting because it's a white meat, folks. So we're going to do 200 for 20 minutes. And then we're just going to start that cooking. And I'm washing my hands. <laughs> right, so while that's cooking, we are now going to just make up our little white double cream sauce. Oh, I didn't switch it on, baby, did I? No. <laughs> and uh, we've also got our little splash guard there, which is a little bit of kitchen roll. So literally, so simple, folks. We're going to try and keep this one really Just simple. Cook the mushrooms a little bit first. Yeah, we'll put the old mushrooms into our pan and also our garlic. And we're literally just going to cook these off just a little bit, just to get them going before we add our cream, just to keep them some colour and release that uh, water that's also in them uh, mushrooms. Just about 30 seconds there, and Sharon's just going to add a drop of cream. A bit of clean, baby. A bit clean. And this is literally going to put this on low because this is just going to tick over now and cook on its lowest setting, which is on this thing, Sharon. Keep warm at 80. Keep warm at 80 degrees centigrade. So we will just stir it, but as I say, we're just releasing the flavours from the garlic and the mushrooms, and we won't keep this cooking all the time, Sharon, no. will we? No. We'll actually just get it going, and then we'll turn it down or turn it off. And as you can see, folks, literally under a minute, that's boiling already. So we That's can, on keep warm. That's just on the keep warm function. So we're going to turn that off now, and literally just leave that to cook them mushrooms and that garlic out in its own heat. So we'll just leave that there. Right, okay, we've had these on for 10 minutes now. Let's pull the drawer out and have a little look at them. As you can see, they're colouring up lovely. The fat's actually colouring up. That one in the corner there, we haven't got to do anything more than that than just turn it over. So we'll just flip them all over. We're still not touching the other ones yet, but as you can see, they're cooking down a treat now. Don't forget, we're going to add the flavour to the rest of these towards the end of the uh, cooking, the end of the 10 minutes. So let's put them back in. 
I'm making carry on cooking for the 10 minutes. Sharon's just been turning this on and off and as you can see now that creamy sauce has thickened up just right and that's just how we want that just to put that on when we bring the actual chops out so all your work Sharon is done after the cooking really isn't it yeah apart from one of them which we've seasoned at the beginning yeah one we're having plain as well so that yeah. one's done so what we've done here we've just cut up our tomatoes very finely and that's the mozzarella ball which we're going to be applying just before the end of the cooking on that one Sharon so that the mozzarella can mm. melt all over that yeah you happy with that I'm happy with that well, this is a thing, Sharon, isn't it? Because uh, you've not got much to do in this uh, in this menu, have you? No, except say thank you for my gift. Right, you got a gift off of our wish list. There was nothing on my wish list. Oh, actually. it's one of our subscribers. Yeah, it's from Jackie. Jackie, you've not put your second name, but you know who you are. It says, "Hi, Martin and Sharon. As promised, please find a little IKEA gifts enclosed. No more struggling and no more sore arms. Very cheap, but also very effective." I'm 58 years old and I've tried many different types and this has finally cracked it for her. Now I used this yesterday. Potato masher? Yeah, I was making dinner and my God, it is really good. You'd think, well, what difference is that gonna make? But it makes a lot of difference having that big handle and it's a good masher. A good plunge. You like it's a good plunge, a don't good you? Un... Right, why are you doing that, baby? Oh, it's These time. are coming to a peak. We've got 21 seconds, 20 seconds to go there. And basically, we, all we've gone off is the, uh, the setting, haven't we? The, the, the chicken, chicken set, yeah. because it's a white meat. So if you've got no idea about what, what you need to cook at, that's where these presets do come in handy as a guide, Sharon. Yeah, as a guide, But yeah. we're going to check with the temperature now, the probe. So let's just pull this out. Oh, look. Oh, Sharon, look at them. Get your probe, baby. Give them a probe. We always like to test meat, folks, and we want to make sure that that's up to 75 degrees centigrade. Well, that's what kills all bacteria off. So uh, that's what we're looking for here. 73, 74, 75. Yet yeah, we've cleared that. Just do one more, just to make a random check, Sharon. Oh, have I got, have I got it? You've gone straight see. through. You've speared it, Sharon. I couldn't see. There we go. Let's zoom in up. So they are actually cooked, folks. And as you can see, the fat on them is superb. And all we're going to do now, we're just going to take out the plain one and the one with the spices on because we're going to just sort of leave them to the side to, to just rest while we just put the uh, coatings And you can take the one on the out other as ones. well that's going to have the sauce on. Right, okay, so we're going to take three out. Yeah. So that's our spiced one, I'll keep that over the edge there. And we're going to take one more out. So we've got all three out, that's the beauty. So you can do the cooking on this because we're going to be adding that white sauce afterwards. But these two in here... If you've got fussy children and they like different things, yeah. this is the way to do it. Or fussy husband, Sharon. Fussy husband, yeah. Not that I am. Right, okay, let's get these other two prepared then. So literally, all we're gonna do is take our barbecue sauce. This one we're using is Chuckles. It's a small business, and uh, we love supporting small businesses. So Sharon's just gonna get some of that out. We don't want too much in there. Just a, we're only doing one, baby. We've we're, quite a bit. We're not, we're not doing loads, <laughs> loads no, of them. Christ. And all you've literally got to do, folks, is literally just paste the barbecue sauce liberally. I love that word, yeah. We will turn this over as well. Just put a thin coating on that side, yeah. And then I'll flip it over for you. And it's this simple, folks. The other side's got a bit of a dip in it, which I like, because that means you can put a bit more on that side, you see. I'll hold it still for you. And again, nice and simple, folks. You're literally just warming this barbecue sauce through. There you go. And I'll put that over to, that's perfect, Shell. I love it, I love the look of that. Leave that one over there. And this one, so that's our ball of mozzarella there, folks. And all Sharon's gonna do is literally just break it off. You don't have to tear it and lay it across it. Oh yes, get all over there folks, that's perfect. Probably a bit more at the end there, Sharon, just to, just to finish it off there. And then we're just gonna lay them tomatoes, that do, Sharon. That do, baby, don't go too mad. And lay them tomatoes on the top. We just slice them nice and thin, folks. If you cut them thin, they should crust up a bit more, which is what we're after, just to add some more depth of flavour, Sharon, isn't it? Oh yeah. And these are literally only gonna be in there for about three minutes. There you go. There you go. So they'll go straight back in. And again, I'm going to hit the chicken, 200 degrees, and I'll, we'll take that down to three minutes. Right, so I just brought that to a boil, and literally all we're going to do with this one, on that plain one there, is we're literally just going to, oh, look at that sauce, Sharon. Just put that white sauce with that lovely mushroom and garlic flavour. Can you see how it's thickened up, folks? Oh, that looks lovely, Sharon. Thank you. Superb. So that's that one done. 
That one we're leaving plain. So that's free created already. Well, here they go, folks. They literally didn't take long to make. No special marinating showers there. No. Let's have a little zoom in. Have a little look at them, folks. That's the plain. That's the plain one. Mr. Salt and Pepper. Mushroom and garlic and cream. Barbecue. And mozzarella and tomato. Absolutely lovely. Shall we give them a taste? Oh, yeah, the best bit of the day. Well, I think it's only... Right, Shad, we should just start off with a plain one. That'll be our base when it's so cut us a couple of bits off. I know you're going to have the end bit because you like the bit with the fat on, don't you? Yeah. So do I, actually. Oh, we can both have a bit. There you go. Right, this is the plain one, folks. That's nice. Nothing wrong with that. That's so moist, isn't it? Really good, that, folks. Again, we're taking a bit of the fat with it as well. I love the fat and that salt and pepper seasoning. Just a little bit of some sprinkles there. That's nice. Oh yeah. Oh. <laughs> and that'll be in the link below because we can get that from Amazon so you'll be able to buy that. That Chinese spice spice really coming through. Mm. That, again, is fantastic. Now this is the one that's got me going. I, like, I love the look of that show. Simple cream mushroom and garlic sauce, folks. Yeah, that's a big bit for you there. I'll have the end bit. Let's have a little look. You might have trolled me up with this one. Tell me what you think of that. Mm. Is it good? Oh, your face, look, that's told me everything. I love garlic. Mm. <laughs> and that garlic was really coming through. Mm. How many cloves was there there? Two? Two, yeah. Mm. Two cloves of garlic in there. Mm. Some lovely fresh mushrooms. That is, again, so far, it, they're all different. Here's the barbecue. And don't forget, folks, we haven't marinated these where people say, oh, you've got to do it overnight. That probably will help, but the experience we get in here, I'll tell you what, it's fantastic, Sharon, isn't it? You can smell the barbecue, aren't you? Oh, you can. Oh, that's good. Smoky. Moist. You've been terrorizing me. For cheap cut of meat, the flavours so well, far are I'm fantastic. That's not been marinated, the flavours yeah, are through. That's the thing. You have a good barbecue sauce, folks, and make sure you cook it well in your air fryer, and it really does bring the flavour out. Now, this is another one I'm looking forward to again. This is the one with a just simple mozzarella and also tomatoes. And don't forget, we haven't seasoned these at all with salt and pepper or whatever. Nothing. We're going in. Except the salt and pepper one. Except for the salt and pepper one, yeah. We're going in full metal jacket. On their own, folks. Look at that look. Superb. Come on, Shell. Mm. Mm. Not as strong flavour as, as the other one. No. This is just giving you some examples of some flavours you may have in your cupboard. So what was your favourite? I'll tell you what, they're, they're all good. Well, I don't That's know. my favourite. I love garlic though. So well, I, I like that one, yeah, and I also like the barbecue, like barbecue one. Sauce but I also sauce. like the salt and pepper yeah. one. I also like that one, and I also like that one. No, I'm an arse. They're not. No. So we've taken the humble pork chop there, pork steak. Pork steak hasn't yeah. got a bone in it. And just to show you, experiment. If you've got some herbs and spices, or some sauces, or even if you don't have any sauces, like that, that was just some cream, uh, mushrooms, and some raw garlic. You could probably use garlic powder as well, I suppose, Sharon. Cheese, put cheese in it. Yeah, put some cheese in it. Make it up, wing it. But your bare ingredients, we have that many times where we just have a pork chop, we have some vegetables, mm -hmm. uh, pour gravy over it and leave it at that. That's just to show you, in no time at all, you can produce five lovely dishes. And the barbecue season's coming on. There's ideas for you for your barbecue as yeah, well. Yeah, but that's all done in an air fryer, Sharon, yeah. as we well know. 20 minutes in the air fryer, and to make them sauces, three of them were painted on. Quickly made in the air fryer, and I'm totally blown away with them. Mm. All totally different flavours. Anyway, there you go. Hope you've enjoyed that. Hope it's we given did. you a little bit of inspiration, Sharon, just to show people that you don't have to have the bog standard bear stuff in 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 mm. the, in 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 in, 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 in,
in the fridge, you can add a little bit of spice to your oh, life. Oh, in the fridge, you can make things up. We add a bit of spice to our life, baby, don't we? Oh, we do, don't we? Anyway, we'll see you in the next video, folks. Do give them a go. And once again, thank you, Jackie, for your gift. Thanks much very much, Jackie. And don't forget, all the stuff we do use will be left in the link below in the description. There's quite a lot of stuff in there, so you mm. might have to have a good search through. The induction of the air fryer. Salt and pepper seasoning. Salt and pepper seasoning, all in the link below. 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 Thanks very much, folks. We'll see you in the next video. And until then, bye for now. Bye.